Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome to an area that has uh, activatable cover. It's kind of odd, like you've got the space uh, noises. Like everything sounds like uh, it's underwater. But you've also got all them the so you've also got all those fire blasts going on. Also, did I just get spotted by a camera? Yes, I did. There we go. So there's got to be a way in somewhere. Once again. That airlock may be the answer to boarding this vessel. Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Star Trek. Where hopefully Hopefully, this is the last part of this game. Because I am ready to move on to other things. Then it, they don't even have to be better things. They could be the same quality as long as they're different. Captain, scans indicate that in order to proceed, you will need to destroy the ship's central column. Thank you, Lieutenant. Uh, well, I know you've got your hands full, and I hate to bug you with our little problems, but can you do something about their weapon systems first? We're taking heavy damage here. We can't take too many more hits. Understood. Just try to hang in there a little longer. Alright. So... And he's still standing. Um, okay, so we've got a camera over here, which we could potentially avoid by... ...going through said airlock. Um, so, I guess we've got, a uh, a couple problems. Spock, heck that! Uh, we've got the, uh, central column to destroy, and we've got the weapon systems to shut down. Pew. There we go. So... Most likely, th there's going to be some sort of big fight, I would imagine there would be. Um, and then beyond that... An escape? And in theory, that's everything that would be left of this game. Or so I hope. Was there a camera? Chief. Where did all of these guys come from? More coming, Captain. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of No. Let's get rid of you. There we go. That gets rid of the camera. Alright, that gets rid of the goon. Is there something for me to do over here? There's a bad guy, so... Okay, maybe now I'll be able to hack it? There we go. Okay, let's take this guy out, uh, because I kept missing that first guy. I've got something here. Yeah, there's definitely... Is that a weapon? It's shooting at 
space in general. All right, let's move on. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. That is uh, me, uh, as opposed to me missing my target a billion times. Hmm. I need to go to there, so I guess that must mean the power... There we go. That's weird. Indeed. What do you think it's used for? They appear to hold some sort of liquid. They may be stasis chambers. Hmm. That just takes me in a circle. And hello. Oh, I keep forgetting. That guy is somebody I actually already defeated, but his body didn't bother falling down properly. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is where I should go. Nope. Uh, let's let Spock hack this one. I will hack the console. Here comes another. You could do it, Spock. I kind of sort of believe in you. Hacking consoles and running into walls is his forte. Although I gotta say, the music is very epic. It definitely uh, is make, doing a good job making it feel like a climax. I feel like I'm doing more of the stunning and just knocking guys out uh, these days versus uh, when I first, like, for most of the game. Oh, hello. Spock, where are you? Okay, there you are. Alright, that looks like it's the way to go. There looks like there's going to be two things I need to power, or maybe just one thing that, uh, yep, one thing that Spock and I will have to do at the same time. Um, if I have to guess, I will imagine that this console operates with the right analog stick, and I don't have to try as hard. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. And truly, that's, I think, my goal right, with this, uh, with this last section of the game is whatever I can do to make sure that I don't have to try so hard. Oh, and also be positive at the same time. But that was my, kind of my goal, because, uh, like, this isn't the greatest game. I don't think I need to state that. You can see it by the, the gameplay, by the reviews, you know it's bad. Um, but if I spend the entire time playing this just... Ready, Spock? I am. Reminding everybody of that, it, it probably wouldn't be too too interesting. Huh. What trap-like thing am I going to have to watch out for here? Can I grab onto that? I can. Okay, that was somewhat unclear. Um, Ready, Spock? I am. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Ready, Spock? I am. Let's go. Let's try that again. 
I guess I have to give this a chance to fully... And then I have to go around. Maybe go this way? Luckily I don't have to worry about- nope. Luckily I don't have to worry about Spock's survival in all this. Okay, so I have to be fast enough to move around all of the columns, get to the other side. Ready, Spock? I am. Without getting stuck on a platform that lowers itself. Now, if I remember correctly, the platform on the left raises first, so in that case, I probably should head there. The trouble is, um, like, he gets caught up, like, depending on, depending on the angle of the camera, he'll actually stop moving. Okay, now spin way around. There we go. Um, okay, so I have to do all three. Nope, damn it. Okay, let's try that again. I need to try not to block, or I should make it easier for... Yeah, unfortunately I did not make it easier for the second one, so I should try to go for the... There we go. And now I can take the upper path, and then the third time should be the easy one. There we go. Excellent! So, I guess for all the time that... Uh, use the ladder? For all the time that Spock uh, got to spend his time hacking, uh, this uh, this occasion he got... Pry the... Don't turn around. Pry the door open! He's really taking his sweet time with that. All right. Fascinating. I hate it when you say that. It appears these chambers were not manufactured for stasis. They appear to be bio-enhancement tanks. Enhancement? You hearing this, Bones? Sounds like damn genetic engineering to me. Indeed, Doctor. This may account for how the Gorn have been able to biologically enhance their species. Hmm. So, uh, what were the... Er what did the Gorn originally this look like? Massive. We'll never find the Helios device at this rate. Unless hacking their systems might give us more info. We just need to find a console with access to the secure systems. Now, are we actually going to find a console with access to the security systems, or are we just going to proceed with the game? Because there was a
There was a part of the game where they talked about getting to a console and then nothing happened. There we go. There is a lot going on in this environment. Looks like all their weapons are controlled on some sort of targeting platform on the other side of the ship. Look out! Oh! It magically transported me to the other side. Ooh, that uses up ammo. That is interesting. You know, if he's not going to move... Like, at the very least, like, I don't really need to get up and heal Spock. There we go. Jack the Gorn transport, we should be able to get up there. I am proud of you, sir. For what? Usually your plans involve mindlessly running into danger. Don't worry, we're still gonna do that. That's ah, good to know. Where did we just teleport? Hello, sir. Enjoy this stun. How do we get these to work? I do not know. Perhaps Mr. Scott can be of assistance. Mr. Scott, I am sending you information from our tricorders. Please confirm. Confirm, sir. If we're inside one of those tanks, how do we get those cranes to pick us up? Did you say uh, you that's what he's trying to do. He did, Mr. Scott. You know I'd love to help you, Captain, but we're a wee bit busy fighting off the Gorn. Scotty! <laughs> Sorry, Captain. Those tanks should send out a signal right when they're going to be moved. You'll need to scan one that is about to be picked up, so I can match its signal for you. Let's go. Okay. I'm hoping this teleports me to the right place, because there's a lot of teleporters in this area. And I'm not entirely, uh... I don't really have much faith in them. You know... I think this may, like, it's, it's, it's kind of a problem with the game, but it's also kind of a problem with the Star Trek universe. And that's the focus on the phaser gun. Like, making a cover-based shooter based on Star Trek, and then create, giving you this uh, weapon that is as good as it is. Where am I supposed to go? I'm just gonna fall down here. Help me back on my feet. Let me assist you. Huh. Excellent. Thanks for taking the taking the safer route. But my plan clearly worked a hundred percent. So Also, this is a very awkward transport system, but I suppose they've got to have something that competes with the uh, turbo lift. So, might as well be a grappling arm. All right. Oh yeah, and we also have to save Ta Tamara. Damn it, we need to move faster. Like it's been a while since we really talked about the fact that uh, she was captured. Um, but yeah, she's been captured for like most of the game. Also, no, Surik is dead. Just found this ship's central computer. Okay. 
Enterprise a fighting chance. Any ideas, Spock? If we override the consoles, we will be able to sever the connection. Take cover! They are tracking us. Captain, I believe we may be able to maneuver behind the turrets and disable them. Disable them? Mr. Spock, sometimes it's more fun just to shoot things. Or blow them up with grenades. There we go. Damn it. I cannot see you from the single. Alright, um, let's see if we can maneuver to a different spot. Ooh, hello. Alright, let's swap that out. Stun this guy. Okay. There we go. I should try to... Yeah, I should try to hack some of these guys. Only because it'll definitely be an advantageous to a degree. Ah, this is where I'm going. This is the teleporter I'm looking for. Oh, hello. How are you? Okay. Ah, damn it. But the direction I'm facing is... There we go. There we go, okay. This is really, really messy, I admit. And I think I'm dead. Okay. Let's try that again. Uh, maybe do a better job clearing out these gun emplacements. Because it seems like these gun emplacements are going to be a bigger uh, problem than the enemy. It would be nice if Spock actually healed me, but that is something else. Um, I think there might, at the very least, be some healing options. There we go. And I think this is a healing thing. Uh, nope, that's just a turret override. Is this a healing thing? Yes, it is. Oh, hello. Ah. It would be nice if I wasn't getting shot at from every direction. Oh, hello. Alright, he's done. Oh. Alright, maybe now I can take out this turret at the very least from over here. That, who's hitting me? There's just a little bit too much going on. I'll, I'm gonna head over to the other side, maybe hope for the best. There's still the turret on this side of the stage.
All right, that gets rid of that guy. And I got a plasma grenade, so in theory that should enable me to hit... Excuse me, can you please stop, thank you. Whoa, whoa, grenade! Feel better in no time. There we go. There we go, okay. Alright, now I'm going to try to teleport up there and maybe swing around. Or just stun the turret immediately. There we go. Why isn't this guy blowing up? Good. People, can you please stop blowing up in my face? Finally. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a time limit. That could be important to know. Okay, so I've got, what, uh, 99 seconds? I guess I've got to move. Whew. This is problematic. Uh, 89 seconds. There we go. Where did the console go? Alright. Sixty-seven seconds. What on earth hit me? I didn't even realize I had that little life left. Thank goodness I don't have to start all the way from the beginning of that one. Because that would have sucked. All right. All right, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. And I believe there's one more and Jeez. Spock, please why are you standing directly in front of me? Ugh. That's four. Last one. Okay, what is the last one? Do I have to blow that up or do I have to do something else? Oh, nope. We have to do our hacking thing. You know, trying to aim while the screen decides, you know, it wants to shake, is not very useful. I see more of them. Come on, let's do it. God damn it. This is not very... 
conducive to hacking. Look, reload. Oh my god. I know. No, hack. Don't reload. Man, I need your help with this system. Okay. All right, let's try that again. There we go, finally. of the Gorn Armada. It won't be easy, but we may be able to get out of this alive. Great news, Mr. Shulu. Captain, Good to know. your celebration may be a little premature. We still need to proceed to the ship's core to complete our mission. Yeah, we still need to blow up the mothership. We also have to save Tamara. Um, oh, there we go. For a second, I was wondering exactly where I was supposed to be going towards. And this convenient teleport just shows up out of nowhere. Alright. Chekhov, something's happening over here. What can you tell me? Captain, we're reading a massive energy buildup on that ship. Are they trying to activate the Helios device? They've opened the second reef. Captain, if we do not destroy the Helios device, the Gorn will be able to use these rips to attack multiple targets in the universe without warning. The outcome would be catastrophic. You know, that's... I'm pretty sure we were well aware of that. That's the reason why we were... We were trying to stop uh, them from holding on to the Helios device in the first place. Alright. Oh, I don't even have to aim. For some reason, I always thought I had to aim before I shot. Afraid not of what? Of hacking? I'm not entirely sure what that does. Oh, the loop. And I think I'm out of ammo for that gun, so I should probably switch. Why is it so dark now? Nope, nope, that's not a guy I can stun. Alright. It would be nice if, um... Like, uh, Spock healed me when I was nearly at full health. It would be, it would be nice if he actually used uh, these this health refill when I actually needed it. But, who am I to say anything? I don't think I spend too much time healing him, so... This is very true. Little Hope. Truly outclassed in every way. 
All right, let's go on, get the Helios device, save the girl, and the galaxy. How many more of these things are there? That is an excellent question. Uh, all right, so we'll zap you, knock you out. Zap you, knock you out. Stay alert, sir. What on earth am I using? Am I using their equivalent of a shotgun? There we go. Okay. I can cross this bridge and go somewhere. Is there a, going to be a big... Oh, waiting for your partner. That sounds like there's going to be a boss fight. Yep. Actually, that's fine because now I can. Hold on, I'm coming. And by I'm, you know, Spock, you can shoot him while you're down. <sighs> All right, let's try that again. I think there might have been a dodge button. Yeah, I think uh, the dodge button is something that I forgot of its existence. No. For some reason I wasn't able to, uh, to knock that guy out. Fuck, what knocked you out? No, 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 no. Alright, let's pick Spock up. My thanks, sir. Uh see if there's something I can grab from this bin. Remember that I have plasma grenades, for one. And the ability to dodge. Take that. Never mind. Nope, that missed. Not very convenient. Oh, there we go. Nope. That dodge ability. Oh my gosh. It would be nice if the dodge ability actually dodged. Uh. All right, I'm just gonna cut back to the fight with the Gorn brute. Okay. So it can't be harmed in like its first. Let's reload, run away, maybe. Oh! No, don't dodge towards walls. Damn it! 
Oh. That was a lot of falling down and getting up. Why can't I switch weapons? Thank you. Sir. There we go. At the very least, Spock could be the hero in the end. Yeah, for some like it's showing the gun in that other slot. But it is not allowing me to use it. I see more of them. It is also not letting me use the tricorder for some reason. Or pick up anything or interact with anything on the ground. Okay, let's uh, let's go to hopefully uh, when it loads to a new area. I'm holding nothing. <laughs> okay, this could be problematic. So I'm just going to run. Oh, maybe if I replenish my ammo, that might fix this bug. But right now, I'm holding no gun, and it, I cannot attack. We're running out of time. Um, so, let's see if I can actually make progress in this state. Okay, it's saved at the very least. Um, so, at the very least, uh, if I die... Which I probably will, given that I don't have the means to protect myself. Okay. At the very least, it's saved again. Um. Now, where is Spock? He is over here. Oh, I've got my gun again. I don't know why I have it now, and I did not have it before. Ah, no. I fear my health is in danger. Okay, let's let's see where this actually loads me. Okay, at the very least, it loaded me, um, at the end of this path. Alright. Overall, despite strange things happening, that was a success. Alright, now I guess I'll heal and then go off to this, uh... Next fight? Final fight? One of the two? Alright, took that guy out. Oh, no. Destructible cover. Ah! That is, um... That is, this is not good. Also, the fact that these guys appear every single time... Also, what happened to- Oh my gosh. Spock got knocked off the side of the, uh, bridge. Okay. 
I need these guys to stand still for like one second. So I can stun them, then kill them. There we go. I wonder if I can go back across the bridge. Uh, if I can go across the bridge and uh, fight the uh, big guy from here, where it would be relatively safe. Because I am not entirely sure whether or not the bridge retracts. Does the bridge retract? It does not seem to retract. I see another one. It would be nice if I could see what I'm shooting at. Am I hitting him, or am I hitting the wall? I was hitting him. Alright. That makes that fight a lot easier if I could just retreat. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go on the right side so that I know exactly which... It's kind of odd that um, the hacking is done in such a fashion that the person on the right computer is always doing the one thing, and the person on the left computer is always doing the other thing. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done... No time to celebrate. We have level to load. Okay. This That's looks like a final area. What the hell are they doing to her? I believe the Gorn are somehow forcing her to operate the Helios device. We need to get her out of there. As long as the Helios device is operational, we will be unable to beam out. And we've got to take it out. We will need to overload those plasma transducers first. Sounds good. What's a plasma transducer? Those pylons. Why didn't you just say that? Because you are a Starfleet captain. And you should know what a plasma transducer is. Although I suppose uh, Spock is the science officer. Although it's kind of like, uh... How do I overload... what? Also, um... It's like, it, it's presenting as many reasons that we have to do this in like one go. Like, we have to stop the Helios device to save the world. We have to stop the Helios device to save, um... Tamara. And we have to stop the Helios device, or we won't get off the ship. Oh, no. Uh, Spock, you got this. Oh, buddy, old pal. Uh, where are you at? Nope, get back here. Okay, so now we got one more left to hack, I think. Although I wonder if that final guy that I just defeated by luring him to the other side of the bridge was the final boss in this game. Um... See if we can do about that console. Because it doesn't exactly seem like I have that much more to worry about. That's what I'm asking you to do, Spock. You don't have to tell me. 
Oh, hello. Captain, we can now disable the Helios device. With pleasure. Do I have to go up to it and do something, or do I need to shoot it? Because truly, that's the... Okay, he just woke up mid-stun. Alright, Helios device destroyed, let us save the day. Oh, nope, here's the big boss. Who is also two faced around Tamar is connected to the Gorn leader. So we gotta take him out to get to Tamar. It appears so. Fine by me. I have little time to restore my strength. Yeah. Where is he? Where did oh, he teleports. That's what's going on. Although, he seems really, really easy to fight. I mean... I'm also out of ammo. Which is problematic. Sir, if you could just let me regain my shields. Nope, those are explosives. And where did he teleport? There we go. I will take care of their leader. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. As I believe you would say, I have a score to settle. Then get to it. So Is this a co-op game where the two players are the two characters are going off to do different objectives and offer them no gameplay for these objectives? Did they cut out the part where Spock had the score to settle? Captain, looks like there's a whole other fleet of bad guys coming right through that second rep. Don't they ever give up? Status of our engines. They're barely holding on, but they should be able to get us out of here. Good work, Mr. Scott. Sulu, full impulse, get us through that rep. Oh yeah, we're on the other side of, uh... I have <laughs> I almost forgot we're on the other side of, of the rep. We need to be on... We need to cross over and get out of their, uh, universe. Oh, and then it just ends. <laughs> okay. So, that was Star Trek the video game. Um, I've played worse. I've played worse video games based on licensed properties. Uh, specifically Lost the Game. Um, I've played better video games based on licensed properties. Um, I feel as though this could have been a good game, or at least an okay game. If they had more time and a larger budget, um, that would be... At, at the very least, that would have given them time to kind of flesh out the systems that are in place. Because there are a lot of things that... Um, seem malnourished. It's, uh, as a Star Trek story... Um, it's extremely basic, like, uh... 
it's it, it feels like there was something they were trying to go for uh, with the Helios device, in that like uh, their search to better themselves. Um, ooh, actually, you could almost say that the Helios device is a analogy for the making of the game. They wanted to create something to better themselves, but their rush to create it um, created something uh, almost destroyed them in the process. Um, though I wonder exactly, like, at what point was the deadline placed on them? Was the deadline placed by the company that published it, or was it placed by CBS? Uh, due to licensing issues. Um, either way, regardless of deadlines, regardless of uh, how quickly, uh, how much more time there could have been placed into it to make a good game out of this, this is the finished product we're dealt with, which is buggy at times, awkward at other times. It's a co-op game that doesn't really use its co-op very well. Uh, the level design is a little bit all over the place. And it's overall very mediocre. Um, I would probably, if I would have had to give it a score, I'd probably say like a five out of ten. The Federation is safe from the Gorn. For now. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything Spock and I can't do when we work together. It seems that the older Spock was right. Our partnership, uh, our friendship, really is something special. Our mission would not have succeeded if not for the exemplary performance of my crew. They're all truly deserving of commendations for this one. I have recommended to both Starfleet and the Vulcan High Council that Tamar be awarded honors for bravery. I am happy to report that she will be allowed to continue her work in the rebuilding of New Vulcan. I know that she still blames herself for what happened, but hopefully, one day, she will realize that it was Commodore Daniels who deserves the blame for the Gorn invasion. We've just been given new orders by Admiral Pike to travel to the... That is one awful-looking damage texture on the starship. Hopefully this mission will include way less Gorn than the last one. Kirk out. Also, th th there's something he mentioned in, the, in the, uh, that last scene that I think stands out. The idea of Spock and Kirk as the duo. And I feel as though that could have been a stronger focus in the game. Like, there's... Story-wise. Not just uh, gameplay-wise, but story-wise. Like, maybe present the situation where Kirk and Spock are trying to do different objectives, and because they're trying to do different objectives at the same time, it doesn't work out so well, but once uh, they realize they have to work together, suddenly everything starts to fall in place more. Um, so that's something that could have been fleshed out a bit more too. But anyway, if I had to give the score five out of ten, uh, it functions. It it has the it has the potential for what could have been a really good game, but it falls short in pretty much all respects. In the meantime, so long, folks, and endure and survive. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.